doctors. I hope that you're well and that you're growing smarter and smarter every day. Thank you for all your hard work thus far. Today we're going to look at a problem from the Growth Smart newspaper, the 2020 practice edition, and it is number 12. And it reads like this. Penny has twice as many coins as Alex. If Penny gives Alex four coins, they both have the same number. How many coins do they have in the beginning? So what's a smart thing to do? That's right, we must analyze and describe the information in as many ways that we possibly can. So let's put our information in the table. We're going to need a table with four columns. One for Alex, one blank one, one for Penny and one for both. Now let's first see, how do we understand twice as many? It means Alex's number must be doubled or Alex's number must be multiplied by two. So let's look at our table. If Alex is one, Penny will have two and together they will have three. If Alex has two, Penny will have four and together they will have six. If Alex has three, Penny will have six and together they will have nine. So what must we find? We must find the number that is smack bang in the middle of the number that Alex has and the number that Penny has. So if we look at one and two, we will have three. What is the half of three? The half of three is equal to one and a half. And one and a half is a half away from one and a half away from two. If Alex has two, Penny will have four and together they will have six. The half of six is equal to three. And three is one away from two and one away from four. But we don't want to look, to look at one. We need to find four. Right, so let's go to four. If Alex has four, Penny will have eight and together they will have 12. The half of 12 is equal to six. Six is two away from four and two away from eight. Now, the sum is asking for four and we know that four is double two. So let's double Alex's number as well as Penny's number. If Alex has eight, Penny will have 16 and together they will have 24. The half of 24 is equal to 12 and 12 is 4 away from 8 and 4 away from 16 and there we have solved the problem. Alex must have 8 and Penny must have 16. Now let's look what's the relationship between the 4 and 12. Yes, 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Now let's go back and see if it works with 6, 8 and 12. So let's see. The half of 12 was equal to 6. The number away from 4 was 2 and to the other side was also 2. 2 multiplied by what is equal to 6? That's right. 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6. So if we have the number, all we have to do with that number is to multiply by 3. And now they can throw anything at us and we will be able to solve the problem. The challenge for today is if Penny gives Alex 8 coins, they both have the same number of coins. How many coins will they have in the beginning? Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to post your answers as comments. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep practicing and grow smarter and smarter. Until the next time, thank you and goodbye.